Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I have a bit of a different video and it's going to be more of a sit down chatty video. I've got no makeup on because I wanted to make sure that there were no distractions because the message behind this video is really important to me and I want you guys to know that I am human just like you. I have texture on my skin just like you. I have fine lines, I have freckles, I have pigmentation. I'm just a normal person with normal skin problems just like you. Like we are the same. And I wanted to make sure that I'm just sitting down really cash and just having a one-to-one -one chat with you guys and this video is going to be something which is really important but there's also going to be a bit of an educational side of this video so I'm going to be showing you guys what I use um, in terms of lighting for my videos and the settings that I use on my camera because if you have a similar camera to mine then you could potentially um, get some info on how I film my videos and that could hopefully help you guys out. So before I get into the video, I do want to mention that I have my eyebrows microbladed. I've had a lot of comments saying that, oh my God, her eyebrows are so dark. Like what has she done to them? She's ruined them. Please bear in mind that I do read all of the comments and I do understand that, yeah, my eyebrows do look dark. But when I first had them microbladed, the kind of ink that I had, um, which was on my brows, was quite a warm, lighter shade. So it was lighter than what this is looking like now but because of the nature of my skin it actually turned the dye quite warm and red you can kind of see on the outer part of my eyebrow here that it is a little bit red so yeah that is the reason why we went a shade darker for my brows and personally I love them I would rather have this color brows than walking around with red brows because clearly I don't have red hair and it would look really weird if I had red brows. So the reason why I'm actually filming this video is because of the feedback I got on my recent tutorial that went up. And the majority of the comments that I got on that video were really sweet and very positive. But on the other side, I did get some negative comments on there. There were a lot of comments saying that I had become really dark, that I was looking old, that my skin is looking really dull, and that my contour was looking really ashy, and that my highlight was too much, and that my full coverage foundation routine was looking too cakey. And when I was reading some of these comments I literally sat there and I was a bit like whenever I wear full coverage foundation this is what my skin looks like. I have actually upgraded my camera and my lens which is probably a reason why you may have seen a difference in my videos compared to the last few months. The quality of them I believe have increased and I'm talking about the quality of the actual footage because I do film everything myself so I can't do any fancy like zooming in onto my eyes and things like that. I literally sit here by myself in my room and film my videos. And the one thing I do want to mention is that everything that I'm saying in this video are my personal views and if you don't believe in them or if you don't agree with them that is totally totally fine but I just wanted to share my kind of outlook on all of this so yeah that's just some background information as to why I wanted to film this video and I've actually got a list of things that I want to talk about and one of the first things that I wanted to speak to you guys about is makeup online versus makeup online offline. So I'm talking about makeup that you see on Instagram, on Instagram videos, on YouTube videos, and just on social media in general. I feel like nowadays we see so many images of pictures and even videos where you have like airbrushed skin, like with skin softeners on them, and everything is just looking super, super, super perfect. There's pictures where people just have no pores and it's just so beautifully shot. And I feel like we're slowly losing touch on reality, like, because makeup doesn't look like that in real life. I wish I could be walking around with like a face tune filter on my face 24 seven, but that's just not the case. I know as a viewer of YouTube videos and just someone who loves social media in general, I will see other people's stuff, whether that's on YouTube or Instagram, and I will be like, my skin doesn't look like that, you know? My eyeshadow doesn't look like that. My eyelashes doesn't look like that. My highlight doesn't look like that. My skin doesn't look like that. And if I'm feeling like this, I kind of had a bit of a light bulb moment when my last video went up. I kind of made me realize that even though I'm doing YouTube videos and I'm on Instagram and I'm feeling like this, imagine what everyone else there is feeling like. So that's why I felt like it was really important for me to make this video and to tell you guys that it is so super normal to have tech Texture, to have pores, to have fine lines, to have hairs on your face, to have pigmentation and scars. It's so, so, so normal. Like we are not walking, talking like Facetune filters. That's one thing that I really want to stress because I would hate for you guys to watch my video 
videos or follow me on Instagram and feel like, oh my God, my makeup doesn't look like that. Which is why I'm trying to make sure that I'm upping the quality of my content to make sure that it is as true to eye as possible. So I basically want you guys to see my makeup, what it would look as close to as possible as the naked eye. I'm a firm believer in not using any forms of Photoshop or Facetune or anything like that on any of my Instagram pictures. And that also goes for my YouTube videos as well because I don't use any forms of skin blurring and things like that. I actually saw a video because I wanted to show you guys what my face would look like normally and then next to me what it would look like with a skin filter, skin softening filter, like so you guys can see the difference. But um, I'm gonna leave a link to a video in the info box below because it shows just how much of a slight difference it can make to someone's skin. But I'm gonna be leaving a link to a video in the info box below, which is a form of software that you can use to like blur out your skin. And you can use different levels of this. You can do like the full on really extreme or you can do just like the slightest bit of skin blurring and it just kind of makes your makeup look nicer, especially in beauty videos. I don't believe in using anything like that because I want to be as true to myself online with you guys. I want to be as honest with you guys. And yeah, I'm just going to leave that link in the info box so you guys can check it out yourself. So yeah, that is the reasoning behind me wanting to make this video because I want you guys to see exactly how I film mine. And I'm going to show you guys what I see in front of me as well so you guys can see exactly how I kind of set up my videos. The first thing I am going to do is I'm going to turn off my soft boxes so you guys can see what it would look like if I was filming with nothing like this. I don't think I could ever do any kinds of filming like this because you can barely see me. I'm gonna put them back on again so that uh, we're back in action. <laughs> So moving on to what I film with. I am going to show you guys exactly what's in front of me. So the first thing I have in front of me is this little mirror and this is what I look at whenever I'm doing my videos. Oh, got my clip here. Um, this is like the closer up version. So it's like magnified. And then this is the normal version. Here is an external mic that I use, which looks like this. And the reason why I have to use this is because my camera, which is up here, makes a clicking sound when it focuses. And right here, I have my laptop. This laptop is basically connected to my camera. You can see the cable right there. And this shows me exactly what I'm filming. And then I also have some settings right here that I can play around with, which I am gonna be showing you guys so you guys can see exactly what settings I use and also how if I change those settings, how it makes a difference in my skin, if you know what I mean. I have softbox number one here and softbox number two there. This is the wall right here, right next to me. I've got my brushes and stuff here and then I have these right here. I'm touching them right now. So I film in a very, very small room and this is my camera right in front of me. I did actually used to use my two softboxes and a ring light, but I kind of felt like it was too much light on my face. So I do have a ring light at the back, which I don't use, but the camera that I use is a Canon 5D Mark IV and the lens that I have on this camera is a 50 millimeter lens and it has an aperture of 1.8. That aperture, which is 1.8, basically means that you get that really blurry background in the back so that way you don't get distracted by all the mess that I have going on back there but that's the camera and the equipment that I film with this camera is actually a very like professional videographer camera it's actually a camera that's used in movies in music videos on tv it's a very kind of professional camera which I'm still learning the ropes of because I have to kind of teach myself how I film my videos and how to make the most out of my camera but this camera has basically got a really really high quality filming mechanism I can actually shoot in 4k which I haven't yet figured out how to do. <laughs> it's on my to-do list because I would love for you guys to watch my videos in like 4K so you guys can see exactly what's going on my skin and exactly what my makeup's looking like. But it's something that I need to teach myself to do. But you guys may have noticed a difference in the quality of my videos from the last few months in comparison to the earlier on this year and also last year. I used to film on this Canon 70D right here. This has an autofocus, but the reason why I had to stop using this is because, I don't know whether you can see right here, I have got pink lines across my screen. I am gonna try and get it 
get fixed. I wanted to show you guys a comparison of this camera and this camera side by side, but because this one obviously has packed up, I can't do that. But you guys can go back to my older videos and you can kind of see the quality and how that has changed. But that is generally how I film. And now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the settings of my camera. So I use an aperture of 3.5 on my camera. So that gives the level of like blurriness at the back. And then my ISO is at 400. So the ISO is basically how much light the camera is letting through. So if I basically dropped that ISO to, let's do 800. It's like almost like an eyeball. It's like getting bigger and it's letting more light through to the camera. And then if I drop that to 200, it basically makes the whole footage look really, really, really dark. So I'm gonna get it back on to 400, which is what I like to film with. And this I find is the most true to what my skin looks like. I have been playing around with my settings and this is the kind of one that I think that I'm gonna stick to the most because I just feel like this shows my skin in its most natural form. When I do film with 4K, it will be even clearer. So I hope that will really help you guys. But I'm gonna show you guys a close up of exactly what my skin looks like in the different ISOs because this will give you an idea of of exactly how much that makes a difference in filming makeup videos because it can really blur out your skin especially if you're letting more light go through the camera it's almost gonna kind of like blur your skin out and obviously makeup will look a lot different to when it is when there's just that right amount of light going in so we are back on 400 I want to make sure that when I'm editing my videos that my skin and the way that my makeup is translating is as real to life as possible because I would hate for you guys to watch my videos and feel like your makeup doesn't look the same or you know it's not sitting on your skin like it's sitting on mine when in reality when we all wear makeup you can tell that you've got makeup on unless you're wearing like a really light tinted moisturizer then you can kind of get away with just having that effortless really like dewy skin but when you do have a medium to full coverage foundation on and when you have your powder and your contour and all of that on top you are going to look like you have makeup on like as weird as it sounds it's super natural to obviously look like you're wearing makeup one thing that i did mention earlier is that i don't use any skin softening filters or anything like that on my videos i will leave a link to a software that you can buy and it basically softens out your skin you can have different levels of it where it's very 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 slight and it's not noticeable at all and then you can bump it up to really kind of blur out your skin I refuse to use anything like that because I want my videos to be as relatable as possible and I want you guys to see makeup for what it really looks like rather than having like a filter on top so now I'm going to just show you two different options on the aperture so if I want the background to be more blurry I need to drop my aperture from 3.5 to something really low so this lens goes all the way to to 1.8 which is this right here so as you can see it is very washed out and the background is even more blurrier than last time but this also means if I move the slightest amount back or forward it has to focus every single time I move like the tiniest amount so if I drop the ISO to a hundred this is where it's gonna look the most true to life, so to speak, with the really blurry background again. But if I move the slightest bit forward or the slightest bit back or anything like that, it will have to adjust because there's only like a small frame that it can focus in. Now, if I up the aperture to something like eight, Point zero. this is where I look like I'm sitting in the dark. But this is where I have to up the ISO. This is currently on a thousand, which I still don't think is good enough. Um, this is on 2000 right now. So as you can tell, the background isn't as blurry as it was before, but I have more movement and I'm in focus more. So there's more of a focus point for me to work with, but you don't have that super blurry background, which I really like because it just kind of means that you're not distracted by anything going on in the back. So my skin is still looking fairly normal-ish. I do feel like this is obviously a little bit more true to self but without the blurry background. With the background being super blurry it can blur out certain parts of the skin because the focus point is so small it can blur out a lot of my skin so this is why I have stopped using this setting and I like to use something which is a little bit more natural. If I kept that super blurry background and had my ISO on something like 200 you can tell it completely washes out my skin you can't see any pores on my skin you can kind of see a few freckles peeking through but this is where it literally looks like I'm walking around with a bit of a skin filter but my skin obviously doesn't look like this in real life which is why I prefer shooting in f 
3.5 so an aperture of 3.5 and my ISO at 400 so this gives me the most kind of natural looking skin there's a good amount of focus on the whole of my skin without blurring anything out so that is exactly how I film my videos when it comes to editing so I actually edit all of my videos on Final Cut Pro and I also make sure that I don't use any kind of skin softening filters or anything like that on my videos I know that you can do a lot of things in post-production to like change the levels to make your footage look more bright or more vibrant and things like that but I don't mess around with any of that I kind of just leave my footage as it is so it's very raw it's very just what you see is what you get. I really hope that you guys found this video useful into how I film my videos and also why your makeup may not look the same as Instagram and YouTube and it's completely normal if your makeup doesn't look like videos because let's be honest no one's going to be walking around with studio lighting and a facetune filter on their face 24 7. So please remember that it's completely fine and completely normal if you have a texture that's showing through your foundation, if you have fine lines, you can bake or you can use blurring primers and things like that to really Help with certain skin concerns that you may have but please 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 do not feel bad if your makeup doesn't look like anything that you see on Instagram and YouTube I know we've all been there I've been there myself but I hope that like something small like this can help you guys feel better when you're putting your makeup on and you know if it doesn't look like your favorite person that you follow on Instagram or something like that it's totally totally normal when I'm scrolling through like my Instagram explore page I can tell exactly who has kind of face tuned their skin and who hasn't which is one of the reasons that I make sure that all all of my pictures on my Instagram aren't face tuned at all. If I have a spot or if I have any texture that's showing through my highlight, I keep it there because that's what normal makeup looks like in real life because everything that we seem to look at on social media has a filter of some sort, whether that's a metaphorical filter or whether that's a physical filter. I just feel like if I can do my little bit to help you guys feel like, no, it's normal to have my skin look and feel like skin, that would make me really happy even if I could just make one person be like, do you know what? This makes me feel comfortable in my skin. I would be over the moon. I feel like there's so many thoughts inside my brain and there's so many things that I want to say. I'm sure I've missed out on telling you guys. So please do check the description box because I will have all my thoughts typed in there um, in case I have missed anything. I think the sooner we all come to terms that it doesn't matter what you look like, the color of your skin, the texture of your skin, if you've got any scars on your skin, like, it really does not matter. That is what makes all of us beautiful. That is what makes all of us unique. I hope this video makes you guys feel more comfortable and more like beautiful in your own skin because that's what I want all of us to feel like. All of us girls and boys out there who do wear makeup or don't wear makeup or just like watching YouTube videos don't feel like why do I not have that or why does my makeup not look like that? But if there's one thing that I want you guys to take away from this video is that no matter what color skin you have, no matter what gender you are, no matter what age you are, no matter what kind of makeup you like, you are beautiful. And please just don't forget that because I feel like sometimes that can get really lost in the world of social media and it's a shame, but I think we just need to all celebrate us and being individual and being unique. On that note, I am gonna end this video right here. So yeah, uh, that is all for now and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.